I am Dr. Malik. Today we will talk about an important topic that is gut microbiome. Gut microbiome. What is the gut? Gut means our stomach, our intestines, etc. What is microbiome? All the bacteria and other organisms, microorganisms, microorganisms which survive in our gut and intestine. There are at least thousand species there are at least thousand species of bacteria or other uh, organisms microorganisms which survive in our gut and uh, intestines which are most helpful to us there are two types of organisms microorganisms harmful microorganisms useful microorganisms i am talking about useful microorganisms these microorganisms they take these bacteria or microorganisms they take part in our total uh, biochemical processes in our body total biochemical processes in your body and to be very frank gut health gut health that is our stomach our intestinal health is directly proportional to your body health that is if your if your gut health is fine that means nearly about 1000 species of bacteria and there is bacterial diversity there is bacterial diversity microorganisms there is a big diversity 1000 species 1000 species which are there in our stomach and intestines they are the main reason this is this is found out recently and since long time it has been discussed it has been discussed this is the main thing your gut health your stomach your intestine the lining and the and the bacteria microorganisms which are there in your health and uh, in your stomach and intestines which participate in so many biochemical reactions in our body almost every biochemical reaction in our body for example converting carbohydrates to fats etc etc so many things producing so many hormones stimulating so many hormones that is for example your from the stomach there are some end nerves nerves which stimulate the brain and which release endocrinal hormones which release they stimulate the brain and in turn cause release of hormones release of hormones this is what is called gut health if your gut is good if your if your intestines and stomach is full of useful bacteria useful very very useful bacteria and microorganisms your health is perfect your health is perfect that means to say not only intestines not only intestines and uh, stomach your heart your heart your brain your kidney your all your musculoskeletal problems knee joints everything everything it has got role so they say that about 70 to 80 percent depends on your i have been frequently telling everybody that health is health your health depends on 80 percent of 80 percent on your diet 80 percent on your diet 20 percent on exercise so 80 is to 20 that's what that's why we say concentrate on your diet 80 percent and 20 percent on a, an exercise that means at least half an hour to 45 minutes exercise per day will be very good will be very good so let us talk about that so how to how to increase the bacteria how to increase the bacteria useful bacteria in your body in your in your stomach and intestine how to increase the useful bacteria in the stomach and intestines number one number one fermented food Fermented food is very, very, very important. We know we used to eat chaddhanam. We used to eat chaddhanam. That is, uh, previous night cooked food, uh, uh, early morning we used to take as breakfast. We used to take as fresh. That is fermented food. Fermented food. Very, very important. This creates lots of good microorganisms in the body good micro good bacteria in the stomach and intestines which participate in so many processes number two fermented food number two oils 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 only only cold pressed oils that is village made oils village made oils don't take refined oils uh, oils which are available in shops in uh, plastic bottles please huh? take 
village oils, village made oils, that is cold pressed oils, whatever may be the oil, they say that some rice bran oil and uh, 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 yeah, some other oils like that, they, they are also useful. But I, I believe and so many, nowadays so many doctors, they believe that it is, it is the cold pressed oils, whether it is groundnut oil, whether it is coconut oil uh, uh, and whether it is till oil, till oil, whatever it is, whichever oil you are used to, take cold pressed oils only because they also contain very, very useful uh, uh, microorganisms, very, very useful microorganisms. Please take cold, cold pressed oils. Don't go for this factory oils and plastic bottle oils, please. Don't purchase in shops. Try to purchase in your own village or village made oils or cold pressed oils, please. And uh, see, uh, oils and uh, uh, particularly oils only cold pressed and but they say that there is a there is a uh, theory and uh, so it is proved also normal delivery normal delivery in spite, instead of cesarean cesarean causes less micro uh, biomes less microbiomes in the baby I mean the baby whereas normal delivery normal delivery causes more important more microbiomes more organisms bacterial and uh, more useful bacteria and all in the baby's gut in the baby's intestines in the baby's stomach and intestines cesarean so normal delivery always preferred than cesarean normal delivery is always preferred than cesarean that's it and one more thing is mother's milk should be given up to six months mother's milk mother's milk is the only diet for the child up to six months of age up to six months of age that also causes so many uh, microbiomes that is full of good bacteria so only after six months you start feeding um, outside food or outside uh, things but as such mother's milk is only advised for the baby up to six months up to six months so one more thing is we have a uh, tendency to take milk to take milk in the night at uh, most of the pilgrim uh, people i see they take one glass of milk at bedtime one glass of milk at bedtime nowadays milk is not being advised for adults particularly for adolescent children and adults we are not advising milk at all no milk please no milk please no coffee no tea and no milk no milk at all instead you can take buttermilk because buttermilk contains so much of uh, healthy bacteria healthy bacteria and lactobacillus which is also called milk curdling milk curdling bacteria that is that it converts milk into curd okay whatever it is lactobacillus is very very useful for the body and try to take buttermilk in the night or day don't take milk please milk is to be avoided because milk has got some the, it is casein, the, the protein is casein which is difficult to get absorbed and number two, it has got lactose which causes lactose intolerance in so many people they are having, nowadays so many people are having lactose intolerance we are trying, we are, we are telling all the um, uh, patients not to take milk, take buttermilk instead one glass in the morning, one glass in the morning, just buttermilk or one cup of curd per day just just one cup of curd per day that is important so no milk moreover one more thing is one more thing is in adults in adults we are seeing GERD that is these symptoms burning sensation in the chest uh, nausea burning sensation pain in the abdomen this is GERD gastroesophageal reflux disease that is always some burning sensation in the chest uneasiness stomach pain this is all because of we call it dyspepsia or acidity acidity GERD we call it GERD in adults this can also be because of uh, lack of proper bacteria in the body and milk temporarily may, it, may give relief but it also increases this acidity it also increases this acidity so if you have GERD that is this belching uh, chest uh, burning behind the chest better take treatment as early as possible because this is also causing the bacteria the useful bacteria to die because very very important bacterial health is our health 
bacterial health is our health and milk contains antigens antigens some antigens which are not good for the body antigens are the things which damage the body you, you nowadays we are seeing so many autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases that means your body is manufacturing some antigens against your antibodies against your body against your body that means that is autoimmune diseases so you can prevent autoimmune diseases by reducing these antigens the consumption of milk should be avoided consumption of milk should antigen is the thing which stimulates the body to produce antibodies antibodies against your own body that is not there that is not safe and so many diseases nowadays are autoimmune and one more thing is smoking alcohol should be strictly strictly stopped because they it also smoking alcohol affects the bacteria inside it kills the useful useful bacteria it will disturb the bacteria colony bacterial colonies inside but exercise exercise at least half an hour per day half an hour per day just stimulates the lazy bacteria they say lazy bacteria if the bacteria are silent it stimulates the lazy bacteria and increases the colonies and they increase they act to full fledged so exercise should be done at least half an hour per day and healthy fermented food curd buttermilk healthy fermented food curd buttermilk should be taken particularly what i feel is always that early morning breakfast according to me should be that chadyanam which is last night cooked and early morning that is traditionally done in our india okay that is we call it chadyanam so always that is better fermented food fermented food along with curd along with curd butter milk is always better and pickles the pickles which are made in our family in our a uh, home their highest source of their highest source of good useful bacteria good useful bacteria so pickle is a must daily pickle consumption should be there okay and uh, fiber fiber should be plenty in your food fiber should be in your uh, food not separately taken okay so fiber should be in your food not separately taken because suppose if you shift from i have been telling constantly please avoid rice please avoid wheat please avoid sugar completely no sugar at all because sugar is going to damage your bacteria completely change the bacterial colonies inside sugar is to be avoided joggery from sugar cane joggery from sugar cane should be completely avoided they no rice no sugar no joggery from sugar cane no uh, no wheat this is the concept please change to millets millet diet millet why millets because they are small grains whole grain should be taken and it is completely full of fiber 70% sorry 9 to 12% 9 to 12% fiber in millets so please take millets even that fermented food also try to take only millets fermented food from millets is very very good very very good so basically what happens sugar should be completely avoided no sugar no sweet drink no sweet containing drinks no cool drinks no cool drinks like pepsi coke etc etc please stop please stop even soda is also dangerous even soda is also not good you can take occasionally but soda is also not good and mainly mainly the most important thing is what happens if this bacteria is if this bacteria completely change because of you are take antibiotics antibiotics please try to avoid antibiotics as much as possible as much as possible and there is no point in take the taking those probiotic capsules probiotic capsules nowadays are available in the market it doesn't give that much uh, health it probiotics this bacteria should come from the diet from the diet not from some capsules okay not possible try to avoid antibiotics antibiotics are very dangerous they destroy the useful bacteria and probiotics doctors are writing you can take but they are not that useful they are not that useful because bacteria should come from your diet what is this inflammation inflammation and autoimmune response autoimmune response what is inflammation and autoimmune response see inflammation 
the body inflammation the body inflammation that is the reaction of the body the reaction of the body it starts from your gut that is intestines and uh, uh, and uh, stomach where the bacteria are there if this inflammation is not occurring because of good uh, healthy bacteria healthy bacteria you are free from almost 70% of the diseases all almost 70% of the body inflammation body reaction to the uh, our uh, processes i have biochemical processes 90% 70% of your health is maintained with this bacteria and particularly plaques the the what is the main reason for your heart attack there are three blood vessels which are supplying the heart which are supplying the heart main three vessels these are the blood vessels for example this is a blood vessel this is a blood vessel there is a plaque inside what happens if there is inflammation if there is inflammation which is starting from the gut so what happens is the endothelial lining this is the artery which is supplying the three arteries which is, there will be three arteries like this i am only taking one so this is endothelial lining the, what what do you call this this is endothelial lining this lining is called inside the artery there is a lining this will be damaged because of inflammation the endothelial lining of the artery which is supplying the heart not only this total body it will be like that but main i am talking about heart and and brain also so these plaques will develop it that once the endothelium gets damaged slowly everything joins triglycerides cholesterol my macrophages t cells etc etc they join and form a plaque and there is a very chance of a rupture of this plaque and causing a heart attack rupture of this plaque since small blood clot and obstructing the blood flow can occur because of inflammation because of inflammation in the body to prevent this inflammation you must have very very good uh, microbial microbes microbes in the body microbes means gut bacteria and please my suggestion is shift to millets millet diet is the best because it provides macro it provides lot of Um, uh, fiber 9 to 12 percent fiber and fermented food. Please take from millets only. Ferment the millets and take night. Ferment the millets night. Cook and keep them. Take in the morning. That is better. So that fermented food will be there. Please shift shift no sugars, no sugars, no cold drinks. Rice, wheat. Stop for a while. Stop for about one year. See, look for yourself. shift to millets and these are the most important things which i am about to